Number six, we're going to add to simplify this. So let's start by factoring our numerator. So p squared minus 1 is p minus 1, p plus 1. That's difference of squares. And there's nothing to factor in the second fraction. When we look at our denominator for our restrictions, we have p cannot equal plus or minus 1. Let's get a common denominator. So we need to have both of the binomials as part of our denominator. P plus 1 is already part of this one. It's just one of them in here, and we just need one there. So 4, we don't need to multiply this. Our denominators are the same. So we have 4 plus 3 times. So we already have P plus 1. What's missing is the P minus 1, which means you would have multiplied P minus 1 in the denominator. So you're going to multiply 3 times P minus 1. So we'll write that in here. Now let's simplify the numerator by multiplying the 3 through. We need to keep, continue to write that denominator. It doesn't just disappear. Combine like terms. So we have 3p, 4 minus 3 is plus 1 over p minus 1, p plus 1. There's no greatest common factor. These don't cancel. This is 3p plus 1, not p plus 1. So you can't just ignore that. So this is your final answer.